Hey, how you doing? Welcome to another episode of Behind the Bar. Tonight, another episode of Brew House Reviews. And we've got Steam Whistle Pilsner from Toronto, Canada. The brewery's been around for about 14 years. And it was brought to us by our friend Ben, who's going to be helping us review the beer tonight. Anything else you want to add about the beer? Um, it's uh, it's relatively new in the world of beer, and uh, it's they they focus on just clean, simple ingredients and uh, an all-around drinkable beer that kind of encompasses uh, the best of uh, of a lot of different areas of beer, and they they, uh, they really stick to uh, uh, really clean tasting beer. It's really you can you can enjoy it any time of day or night and. Uh, Morning. So, yeah, yeah. Breakfast cereal. Yeah. Breakfast of champions. I know I can. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's crack them open, give them a pour, and see what they look like. Looks like beer. It does. Mm. Really? Beer. Well, do you want to fill it? Eh, no. I guess I gotta <laughs> fill it three? Yeah, I was going to crack them both open and give us a nice sample. Well, then let's crack them both open. Okay, sure. then. Jeez. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Make them all look about the same. <laughs> and as far as I know, they come in these glass bottles and the 16 ounce, uh, slightly taller cans. Mm. And um, they actually have special thicker glass bottles that are made just for them, and they can be reused. I think they said they can be reused. 40 to 50 times before they need to be broken down and recycled. And the green prevents UV light from from like attacking the beer. I thought that was the brown. But brown the brown, is, brown is the best. Yeah, the brown well, is the best. Green. The green. Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> Here, Cheers. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Smells like beer. Yes. I like that. Yeah, it's good. It's light. It is lighter. Mm -hmm. It is crisp. <laughs> it's lighter. Yeah, it's something you could really, um, I hate to say, you could really drink it all night and yeah, not you have could. a problem. They yeah. say this is like an, an anti-hangover beer because it's... Really? Yeah, they, they use really clean ingredients. You can get really pretty tipsy off it and not feel awful the next day like yeah. you can with a lot of other beers. There, I can see drinking a lot of that. There is a lot of flavor to it too. It's there not is, like yeah. a, another it's not like beer light. where you're going to yeah. drink it like water all and, night. Yeah, it's not... Nice golden color to it too. Yeah, I mean you could do beer pong with this I guess, but <laughs> I, I personally wouldn't. I like it too I would. I'd do beer pong. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's very, very good though. I always go I always go to the brewery whenever I go up to Toronto and I, I go in and get a fresh pint right off of their taps and oh, it's so good there, it's so good. The, the, the tours that they do there are unbelievable and you get to, uh, you get to pull the chain for their actual, actual steam whistle nice. that they have mounted to the roof there. So uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a great company. The neighbors must love that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's right, it's within walking distance from the Rogers, uh, um, Hockey. The, yeah, yeah, where they do baseball and all that, and and, uh, and the CN Tower. It's mm -hmm. like they're, it's right in the shadow cool. of, of all those buildings. And they said there was a little Easter egg in all their bottles. The three FG. Yeah. Yes. The three FG is there were um, they were originally when the three guys that started this brewery got together, they wanted to call it Three Fired Guys Brewery, uh, but they decided not to for somewhat obvious reasons and other reasons. But they uh, they were they all worked at a different brewery and wanted to do their own thing and got fired at the same time for being too creative, too innovative. They didn't want to stick to the mainstream, do the same thing. So they uh, they wanted to make three fired guys. What would you rate this beer? On a scale of one to 10? I like this a lot. This was really good. Um, I could see putting down a six pack of this with little issues. I mean, it would go <laughs> right down. Um, I'm gonna put this up there. I'm gonna give this a 8.7. All right, 0.7. All right, yeah. okay. It's I like it. That's mm -hmm. very good. That is good. I, I do like this beer. And like I said, when you were talking earlier about it being like a light, crisp beer, I'm thinking of a Coors Light or something. Yeah, yeah. But even like a, a Labatt Blue Light, that is a much better beer flavor-wise than a Coors Light. Yeah. Yes, it has a little bit of something to it. I honestly think the Canadians do a phenomenal job with their beers. Mm -hmm. And this is up there with it. I mean, this is... It's not a it's not a Labatt Blue Light. It's not a Coors Light. Right. But right. it's in that light realm as far as the flavor. Right. As far as like the um, the punch that it has, but it is has a lot of flavor. Mm -hmm. And I'd give it probably about eight. Nice. Yeah. 
Yeah. What about you, Ben? Uh, it's my it's my personal favorite from what I've tried overall. Uh, it, it's my favorite. It's got. Um, it doesn't have any of the skunkiness to it. It's got uh, nice maltiness, a little bit of sweetness to it. It's very enjoyable. I, I personally give it a nine. I, I only have a few that are uh, th that I like that are much more complex in this. But for the overall drinkability of this, uh, it's it's you, I can't ask for any more, anyways. And what does uh, what does six pack of this go for? Um, they're they're about two dollars a bottle or more. So uh, unfortunately, the six, six packs are minimum. They're about twelve bucks. But uh, and I can't get it anywhere around here. I can only get it in Canada. Yeah. Um, so that's what makes it a little bit more special, is it's uh, kind of elusivity around here. Nice. You can't find it. Oh. Which we uh, apologize if there's probably allocation getting it in your area. Yeah. If you're in Toronto, give it a shot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Definitely. yeah find it there. Everybody And if around. you're going to Toronto and you're coming back to here, bring us a six pack. Yes, yes. That would be and he'll pay you for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have a they even have a great little delivery service. So if you live in and around Toronto, they have a couple of different vehicles, one of them being an antique truck that they will truck just that beer to your door. Nice. Yeah, that's pretty so cool. yeah, yeah, yeah it's, like, they're really well known around there. I like breweries that do that kind of fun stuff. Yeah. Nice little touch, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and it's, it's this really bright uh, color, like a grass green. Uh, all their vehicles are painted and they do a great job with it. Nice. Whoever they put in charge of that is a great <laughs> job, yeah. Well, I think that's gonna wrap it up for the night. I wanna thank our special guest, Ben, for bringing this fantastic beer. Sure. And cheers, everybody. Cheers. I waved to you. <laughs> you did. <laughs> oh. mm.